Here we go. Come at me, spider creeper thing. Oh my no! What is this? This is insane. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can spawn secret mobs in Minecraft. So, shh, guys, this is a secret, but these are all going to be some insane, crazy mobs you guys have never seen inside Minecraft before. Now, some of these come from Minecraft Story Mode, but now you can also spawn them in Minecraft through these secret mobs. So all of these are going to be some pretty crazy mobs today, guys. Some of them are going to be boss mobs, some are going to be hostile, some are going to be peaceful. We'll find out in today's video, guys. I'm really excited. And if you guys are as well, make sure to smash that like button. We're going to try and reach 1,000 likes on today's video, guys. And if you are new to the channel, well, welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. Make it go ring-a-ling-ling-ding -ling -ling um, so you guys never miss and upload and go down to the description below hit the link down there to join my minecraft realm and play with me because you know what i'd love to play with you guys and maybe we could even discover some brand new secret mobs together but yeah these are some really cool secret mobs let's get straight in to today's video so we're gonna jump into our creative inventory guys and we'll jump over to our spawn eggs wherever they are there they are and here, guys, you may notice a few brand new spawn eggs, and these are for our new secret mobs, which we're going to be checking out. Now, some of these are, I don't know, some of them are supposed to be hostile, so I'm going to go ahead, and I don't know how dangerous these are going to be. Now, if you guys watched my three-headed ghast video, this is actually going to include the three-headed ghast in today's video. And basically, that thing was really dangerous, so I'm going to prepare myself and make sure I've got a totem of undying. And some enchanted apples, because who knows what kind of seriously dangerous bosses we could be facing in today's video. So there we go, guys. We got that. Let's start off with our first secret mob. All right, guys. So here we go. We've got our first secret mob, which is the Luna. Now, I believe this one is peaceful, so let's go ahead and spawn it in. Yes! It is, this is our adorable llama from Minecraft Story Mode, but he's got a cute little hat, and he's got this awesome little scarf, and this guy's looking swag, he's looking swag, and he's got some blue eyes, pretty cute llama right here, guys, and you can ride him just like a normal llama, which is pretty awesome, and we can go ahead, we've tamed him right there, and you guys can go ahead, put carpet on him as usual, well, as you would normally do with a llama. Now, our next secret mob, guys, I believe, is our ox blood. Now, these guys have a really cool spawn egg, so I'd like to see what they look like in Minecraft. Here we go. Ooh, I like this guy. He's looking buff. And he's got eyes. He's got little, you know, fangs there. Come back. Come back, man. I'm trying to describe you to the audience here. And he has these horns as well, which is pretty awesome. I like that. Now, he kind of looks like he would be someone who would kill you. So if we switch into survival... Oh, no. He's actually a peaceful mob. But if we do hit him, I would assume... That he would go. Yeah, he comes ragey. He comes ragey. Oh, wow. He does some serious damage. All right. Luckily, he's also got really low health, but he gave us a nausea effect, and now everything's looking dizzy. Oh, my God. <laughs> everything's dizzy. Let's switch effect at P. Clear. Here we go. All right. Good. I can see again. That's step one. All right. So, our next thing, guys, obviously, is to go ahead and look at our next mobs. Oh, we're going to have to switch into game mode creative. Oh, we have to write out game mode the full way. Game mode C. There we go. Alright, so we'll go down here. Alright, Ice Ender Creeper, guys. That sounds really cool. Let's spawn this in. That's super cool, guys. Oh my gosh. I need to go ahead and put this guy... He keeps teleporting away. If we can spawn one in and they don't keep teleporting away. Basically, these guys are Endermen, but they have snow bodies, but with creeper faces. What is this, guys? My whole life is alive. These guys are like Endermen, Snowmen, and Creepers all jumped in one. I'm going to assume that they just teleport around, and then when they get near you, they explode. That's going to be pretty annoying, because let's say you're building a house. You can't even get a warning when this guy walks up behind you. He'll just teleport behind you, and boom, you're dead. So we'll switch into game mode uh, zero here. Let's see what kind of damage this guy does. I'm going to go ahead... And uh, I've got the Toad of Undying, so I shouldn't need an Enchanted Apple. I wouldn't assume these guys do too big of an explosion. So let's go ahead and try and take one of these guys. Oh my gosh! Oh, thank goodness for the Toad of Undying. That guy does a serious explosion like Bloom! Oh my! That was really insanely big. Take a minute to look at that explosion. And he still lived. Our, our Ice Enderman has still lived and he's over there. But that is a serious explosion. 
Unlucky if that blows up your house, guys. Dang, you do not want that blowing up your house. I can say that to be honest. Oh my, that is insane. Alright, so I'm gonna so far kill all the mobs we spawned in just because I don't want our game to lag out with all these particle effects. Alright, so we've done that. Let's have a look at our next secret mob, which is Romeo. Now, Romeo, I think, is a boss mob in Minecraft story mode. So, this could be really dangerous. So, we spawn him in. This guy's got a really cool red skin. He fly. Oh, he flies. He's got some red hair, guys. I wish I could start some red hair. Um, no, definitely not. I could not pull off red hair. Let me know in the comments below whether I could pull off red hair, guys. Pro I don't think I could. Um, he's got some, like, dark skin, red eyes. I would assume this guy's going to be seriously dangerous. Let's switch into survival and see whether he's got any chance against us. Because, you know, we're pretty lit people, guys. All right, here we go. He's in. Alright, I probably should have gotten a bow, actually. Let's switch back into creative real quick there. Because, oh my, he's, he just shoots fire charges. I would assume... If he just shoots fire charges, we should be able to take him out. Wherever... Where did he even go, though? Alright, so he's up in the sky. So, yeah, we are going to need to go ahead. We'll grab a bow and we'll grab some arrows. Here we go. Alright, we'll switch into survival. There we go. Alright, he's going to start shooting uh, fire charges at us already. We'll see whether we can get close to him. Come on. Oh my gosh, these fire charges have some serious knockback, guys. So they like push us back. If we can get... I can't even see where he is. Oh my... Oh my no! What is this? This is insane. This is next level. This is no easy boss. He's all the way over there. And he spawned in three-headed ghasts and normal ghasts as well. What? What, guys? What in the world has just happened? This mob is not just a secret mob. This guy is like the boss of Minecraft. My game is lagging out so bad now. There's no way I'm gonna live. Eat a golden apple. Eat a golden apple. Oh my! What? What is going on right now? Oh my! Oh my! I had an entire video dedicated to 300 gas, and it took me like 10 minutes to take out one. But there's not only one, there's two. And there's Romeo. And there's all these gas. My game is lagging out. I'm gonna have to ta- uh, No, no, no. Retreat! Come on, no, no, no. Why didn't that work? Nope, nope. Alright, we have to get this command. Oh my. What in the actual world, guys? That was... Alright guys, so, Romeo basically is the most deadly mob of all time. Do not mess with him. He's extremely dangerous, scary, and like, look at all the like damage or to the terrain right now that has happened, and like... Oh my, do not, do not spawn this guy in, guys. Do not. That guy deserves like his own dedicated video because I don't even know how you would have a chance of taking him out. That was insane. Oh my. Alright, I better get back and I'll put this, I'll get some new armor because if that is any indication of what like some of these other bosses are like, who even knows what we're up against, guys? I better get another Totem von Dying. Here we go. And we'll grab some more enchanted apples. Let's have a look at our next secret mob, guys, which is... What, what is our next secret mob? Big Hank and Large Henry. Now, these two, I believe, are similar mobs. So we'll go ahead, we'll spawn in Big Hank. All right, there we go. This guy is basically an Iron Golem that's a little bit more hostile than your regular Iron Golem. And Large Henry is another version of that Iron Golem that's just a little darker and um, does some more attack power, I do believe. Let's switch into survival and see how these guys face up against us. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, they give you nausea effect. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Okay, good. They give you nausea effect. That makes things super, super difficult. Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Oh my. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't do this. I can't, guys. I honestly can't. My head. Oh my, that's dizzying. Alright, I better go effect Appy Clear. That is dizzying. So these guys have some serious health. They don't do too much attack power. But it look, look at how many hits, guys, it takes to take one of these guys out. Like... These guys are strong, beefy, and do not mess with them, guys. They have some serious health. Like, I'm still hitting at this guy, and nothing. Nothing, guys. Absolutely nothing. This guy is like, eh, 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 um, a eh, noob. You're not taking me out. But, uh, I'm sorry, but I am. <laughs> well, at least I'm gonna try to if he ever dies. Oh, my. Come on, dude. Come on, please. Let, uh, let me get on with the video. Surely. All right, good. That took forever, so that's got to be a seriously hard guy. You do not want to get in a fight with him. All right, so our next mob, guys, is red slimes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to assume that these might be slimes that are red. No kidding, guys. No kidding. Just jokes, guys. They are red slimes. Have a look at that. All right, we'll spawn these guys in. Oh, wow. Look at how long they jump. Look at how far these guys jump. 
Oh my, that's a long jump. Let's switch it to survival and see how much damage these guys do. All right, hit me, hit me. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. These guys actually do way more damage than regular slimes, but you can seem to keep them at bay if you just kind of hit them. I'm on like one heart right now. I probably should like eat a golden apple, but I think if you can keep them at bay, you don't have to worry too much about it. Um, because they do take these really long jumps, but they have like a little load up time. So yeah, these guys aren't too hard and they drop red slime balls. And I'm going to assume you can use those to make red slime blocks. That'd be pretty cool to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave that up to you guys to find out. Now our next mob, let's switch into game mode creative. All right, here we go. Our next mob guys is a Krita. Now this is a mixture. I think Krita sounds kind of like it's a mixture of a spider and a creeper. So let's spawn. Yeah, I nailed it. There we go, guys. This is a creeper body, but it's got spider legs. That is super, super creepy. Oh my, that is really weird. And I'm going, I'm going to assume that it's just gonna blow us up the minute we try and take one of these guys on. Here we go. Come at me, spider creeper thing. Oh my gosh. Totem of Undying saved me again. Oh my, and, and the Iron Golem is after me. Come on, no, guys, seriously. Se seriously, guys, I spawned you in. Surely not, don't kill me, guys. Oh my gosh, and we're back with the... We're back with the... Uh, the nauseous effect. I'm gonna kill all so I don't have that happen again. But yeah, these guys are honestly really creepy. Have a look at that. That's actually spooky, guys. Creeper with spider legs. That is like my worst nightmare. Oh my. Alright, kill at E. There we go. Let's have a look at our next secret mob. Alright, here we go. We've got the... Alright, the three-headed Gus. Now, I'm gonna spawn one of these in just so you guys know what they look like. But we did see these earlier when Romeo spawned them in. And I did an entire video legit, like, trying to take out one of these guys legitimately without using any, like, game mode creative or commands. And uh, that was a pretty intense video, so make sure to go check that out, guys. Uh, just jump over to my channel and have a look at that, guys. Probably a really fun video. But these guys are really hard to take out. They do some serious damage, and they just rapid fire, uh, fire charges. I don't even want to try and take one of these guys out again, because last time ended so badly. So we'll take that guy out. That guy is our three-headed ghast. Our next mob, guys, is our Prismarine Foes. Now, I do believe these actually come from Prismarine Colossus. Now, this guy is another boss mob. Have a look at that. This guy is massive. He kind of looks like a massive zombie that came straight out of the ocean biome. Um, yeah, he's kind of scary. And uh, let's see what let's see whether we can do some damage against him. Here we go. All right, we're coming up to him. This guy, unlike Romeo, is really easy to hit. Oh my, he spawns in minions as well. Oh my gosh, my game lagged out so much just that I don't even know what happened. But yeah, another one of a really, really hard boss. It's probably not as hard as Romeo, but um, because you can easily hit him like so. But he does, does spawn in minions, as you can see there. And he does lag out your game, so be wary of that. Um, that is pretty insane. I like that. I like that. We'll chuck our armor back on. Already our armor's taking some serious damage, though. That's insane. All right, we'll do that, and we'll chuck that on. All right, here we go. Let's kill these guys so they don't lag our game anymore. Let's jump on to our next secret mob, guys, which is... Which is... Which is... Which is... Oh, uh, let's have a look here. We've got... Anthony the Warden. Now, this guy is actually a peaceful mob. Have a look at this guy. He is the protagonist, the main hero of Minecraft Story Mode. He's a pretty nice guy. He's pretty awesome. Uh, he walks around with cookies. Nice guy. Good to meet you, man. Does he do damage to you if you do hit him? If you do hit him, nothing happens. He's actually just a totally peaceful NPC. Really cool. And I'm assuming these guys will just spawn randomly in your world. So that is Anthony the Warden there, guys. Let's jump over and we'll see our next mob. Which is, where are we? Zombie Miners. Now these guys, ooh, these are cool. They look like prisoners, but they're like zombies and they have red eyes. Oh wait, no, Anthony, Anthony. Well, I didn't have enough time to warn him. My poor friend Anthony has dropped some cookies for us, but we're gonna avenge him guys. Let's take out this guy. I'm gonna assume because he is just kind of a zombie in a prison jumpsuit, he shouldn't be too hard to take out. Let's go ahead. And yeah, three hits and he's down. That's pretty easy. Um, but that's pretty cool. I actually really like the design on the, uh, let's spawn one of those guys in. These guys look really cool because they've got, like, that rib cage open. They've got the prison jumpsuit and those red eyes, which is really, really neat. I love that. All right, so let's go ahead, have a look at our next one, which is... 
All right, the Creator, we already had a look at that one. Prismarine Foes, now these were those little minions, I think, yeah, they're there. These are the minions that the massive um, boss that we had earlier spawned in. I want to see how hard it is just to take out one of these guys, so let's switch into game mode survival. All right, so he brings out like an axe. That's pretty cool. We'll see whether we can do some damage. All right, so yeah, those guys aren't too hard to take out in survival. Ooh, he dropped some coal. That's interesting. Uh, those guys aren't too hard to take out in survival, so that's definitely a plus, guys. And I think we've got one more. Yes, we do, guys. Our final secret mob of today, guys. It's been a pretty insane episode is the Nern. And these are basically villagers, but they've got these cute little green hats like they kind of had in medieval times. And they have green eyes, these kind of like orange cloths or something. I really like it. It looks cool. And these guys are just peaceful NPCs. Really nice people. And um, you can go ahead and just as you normally would, you can trade with them as you would trade with villagers. They're just really nice, you know, just really nice people all around. Now, unfortunately, there aren't different types of Nerns as there are different types of villagers, I do believe. Oh no, look at that guys, you can get the Nerns in different colours. That's really cool. Alright, so you can get them, but it does seem you can get them in orange and this kind of like beige colour. That's cool. Um, those are the Nerns and they will fill villages. So yeah, that's really cool guys. These are all our secret mobs for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to go down below, drop a like guys, and subscribe. If you want to get these in your very own Minecraft world, I will have the add-on link in the description below if I remember to put it there. If I don't, let me know in the comments because sometimes I do forget. And you know what? Until next time, guys. Anyway, stream out. Bye. Let's go.